Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today's video is going to be a plan with me for the week of October 31st through November 6th, 2022 in my B5 Archer and Olive notebook. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. For this week's spread, I'll be using these mini number stickers from According to Allie. I'll be using some month stickers and some days of the week stickers from Create with Mandy. I'll also be using these page circles uh, stickers from Create with Mandy. I'm using these Disney stickers from Alicia Michelle XO, these abstract florals from According to Allie, and these cool and warm shape stickers from According to Allie, along with these boxes from Daisy May Plans. I'll also be incorporating some washi tape into this week's spread. If you watched my plan with me for last week, I kind of finished off the video stating how in my head I had an idea of basically doing my planner design or weekly spread design or theme for Monday through Friday of last week and then for Saturday and Sunday switching over to how I was planning on decorating my spread for the following week or this current week while I'm on vacation. Unfortunately, I kind of forgot about that as I was putting the spread together and so I ended up decorating all the way through Sunday. What I decided to do was basically use a blank sheet of Archer and Olive notebook paper to cover up the Saturday and Sunday so that I could do them in a decor sticker vibe that was uh, the same as the week I was going to go on vacation. So I did uh, measure out a piece of white paper and then I cut it too small. <laughs> so I had to measure out another sheet and I'm now using uh, some Tombow uh, permanent adhesive to stick it down. And once I stick it down, you'll see that I basically have a clean slate for Saturday and Sunday again, which is exactly what I wanted. I am going to start out by putting down some washi tape. I'm using uh, the same washi that I had used uh, for this the majority of this spread, which is some black and white grid washi and then this spotty dotty washi from According to Allie. I am going to use some Days of the Week stickers from Create with Mandy. And I know it might seem kind of odd that I have you know, different days of the week, uh, stickers versus stamps. And here I'm using these, uh, number stickers from according to Allie, where I didn't actually put in the dates for Monday through Friday, but I really wanted all of the days that I was on vacation to have the same layout. And that's kind of why I decided to do this. So now I'm going to be pulling out some Disney stickers from this sheet from uh, Alicia Michelle XO. I really love this sheet. It basically has like little Polaroids, which I think are really, really cute. And um, I wish they had uh, images from each of the Disney parks. They mostly have pictures from Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios, but uh, I still think they're really adorable. So I layered some washi tape. I used a um, warm uh, shape sticker from According to Allie, and then one of the abstract florals, and I layered this It's a Small World uh, Polaroid looking sticker on top. And then I also put down a box sticker from Daisy May Plans. Um, basically, I am putting a box sticker down on any day that I'm going to be going to a park. And so I will be going to a park on Sunday the 30th. So I have put a box sticker down for that. Now on Saturday, I did want to put something down. So I put down this uh, kind of darker green uh, grid washi tape and then a smaller piece of the black and white grid washi and I layered this tiny little quote sticker on top. Now we're going to finally make our way to the week that we're 
actually planning for, um, which is October 31st through November uh, 6th. And I'm going to utilize a vertical layout for this week's spread. I just feel like that would work best for me while being away on vacation. My plan is basically to list out all of the rides that I want to go on in each park on on those specific park days and then any dining reservations that we have or you know restaurants we want to check out for um, meals that we don't need dining reservations for and then on the days that we're not in the parks I'll just write down you know kind of what we're planning on doing um, we try to do a park every other day when we're in Disney um, I'm older <laughs> not old, just older. And so, um, the parks take a lot out of me and I feel like doing part two park days in a row isn't ideal or multiple park days in a row isn't ideal. Um, so we usually do a day on day off. We are actually doing a park day on the 30th and then a park day on the 31st. So we are going to be incredibly tired at the end of the day on Halloween, but it'll totally be worth it. Um, so now that I have all of those little washi tapes down, uh, I am uh, going in with days of the week stickers from Create with Mandy and these, uh, number stickers from according to Allie. As you can see, Saturday and Sunday are sharing a column, like uh, which is what usually happens when I when I do a vertical layout, but I did leave more room for Sunday than Saturday because Saturday is not a park day and Sunday will be a park day. So I wanted to make sure I had enough room to write everything I want to do on Sunday, especially since that's actually going to be our last day in the parks. Um, we're leaving the following day, uh, November 7th. So uh, now that I have that, those headers down, I'm going to the bottom uh, left corner of the spread. When I do a vertical layout, this tends to be where I put some deco and put the month and usually the week of the year, though I didn't include the week of the year for this week's spread. Um, so I'm putting down some washi tape. I used a page circle sticker from Create With Mandy, a cool shape sticker from uh, According to Alley, the abstract floral from According to Alley, and then I layered the Polaroid sticker from Alicia Michelle XO, which has the castle on it because we will be in Magic Kingdom on Halloween. And um, I did put an October sticker from Create with Mandy as well. As you can see, I did already layer down a um, sticker, a box sticker from Daisy May Plans for Monday. And now I'm just going through and I'm actually putting in those box stickers for the rest of the week. So as you can see, they're basically on every other day. And I keep going to the back of my spread basically to or I shouldn't say spread, the back of my planner to reference um, this little messy worksheet I put together for myself when I was basically planning out our trip, trying to figure out what days we were going to go to what park so that we can make park reservations and also make dining reservations. Now I am moving on to Wednesday and I put down a warm uh, shape sticker from According to Alley. I'm putting down this page circle sticker, an abstract floral, and then I'm putting down one of the Polaroid stickers from Alicia Michelle XO. I am going to, I think, Hollywood Studios on that day, so I made sure that I put down a um, sticker from Hollywood Studios for that. Uh, now I'm actually moving over to the right hand page of the spread. I am focusing on another park day, um, but I want to vary where I'm putting all of my stickers. So I'm creating a cluster towards the bottom of the page. Um, I layered some washi tape. I put another uh, warm shape sticker down. I'm using a larger page circle sticker and I'm also adding in an abstract floral. And then on top of that, I am putting a Polaroid. And uh, that day, I think, I think that's the day that I'm planning on going to Epcot. But there wasn't a Polaroid sticker that had uh, an attraction from Epcot. So I just used one from, I think that's uh, one of the ones from Hollywood Studios as well. And then I am going to the park on Sunday. And so we are kind of having a lot of deco clustered together, unfortunately, um, because I couldn't put it 
all the way towards the top of the page, but it's okay. I kind of make one large cluster, which I think works out. I started out with a cool uh, shape sticker from According to Allie, and I'm now putting down this page circle sticker from Create with Mandy, which is going to kind of combine those two clusters together. I'm tucking in an abstract floral, and then I put down um, that It's a Small World Polaroid sticker from Alicia Michelle XO. And as you can see, it creates like one big large cluster that kind of spans the bottom of the right hand page of the spread. Now I'm going in with my micron and just putting in lines to separate the days of the week. Um, when I do this kind of layout, I do actually utilize the spine of my notebook. And so you'll see that I'm going in with each day uh, line to separate each day of the week, but then I'm also going to go into the middle where the spine is and I will be putting uh, a line there as well. I also put in a horizontal line to separate Saturday and Sunday. And as you can see, there's more room on Sunday. So here I am putting my line down the spine of the spread. You know, it's not ideal, but it gives me the most room uh, horizontally for each day of the week. So that's why I kind of make this work. Now that I've gone in and created my larger clusters with the uh, stickers from Alicia Michelle XO, I do want to incorporate some more little quotes uh, because that sticker sheet does have some really cute little quotes on it. So I went back to Monday and I put a cool, um, no, I'm sorry, a warm shape sticker down kind of underneath the um, box sticker that I had and I added in a little quote there and then I decided to put down uh, a small piece of a couple pieces actually of washi tape a page circle sticker and then another quote sticker on Saturday so here I am I'm putting that black and white um, washi down first the page circle sticker my spotty dotty washi over it and then the quote and with that I did actually contemplate putting a quote sticker on um, on Thursday towards the bottom but I decided against it and I ended up just layering a little bit of washi tape towards the top of the spread and uh, another little quote sticker there as well. That is it for this week's plan with me. I hope you enjoyed it. As always be safe. Bye-bye.